Hey guys, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft server on a Linux host. So, uh, step one is get your Linux system. Uh, this assumes you already have a knowledge of port forwarding and, you know, general knowledge of how to make a Linux system, uh, how to maintain, how to manage it. Uh, so, first thing you're going to do is, uh, Login as root, you can either do that with sudo space dash s or just su, it depends on your system. Uh, on Debian, su is usually the way to go, although I have it set up with sudo. Uh, you're going to edit this file, uh, slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. Uh, you can use that with either uh, I use Vi, you can use Nano, uh, you know, if you're a favorite text editor, whatever. And uh, you're going to, at the end of all of these lines, you, um, this last one is one I added, but at the end of these standard uh, lines, there's either four or six of them usually, four or six. add contrib and then non-free and then save and then do an update and that just says uh, you can download non-open source software so that just uh, makes it so you can install Java which we're going to do now I'm going to do apt-get space install space sun dash java six dash bin and you're gonna let that go while that's going uh, I'll show you where you can get the server files uh, the standard server you go to minecraft.net and then you go to download over here and then you would go to the minecraft server jar right click and hit copy link location the same as that over here is uh, where you get the bucket server. This is if you have mods. Most mods will require you have bucket. Uh, you're going to go over to the right hand column over here where it says recommended builds. Uh, you're going to find the latest recommended build. Right click, copy link location. Same as the other one. Uh, I'm not sure if this is 1.1 or 1.0 as of right now, but it's constantly changing, so I guess we'll see. If you want a beta version, so let's say like, uh, I know 1.2 as of this video is not out yet, it's coming soon. If 1.2 has been out, or whatever release has been out, and you want to get the beta version of Bucket, which may not be stable yet, but will run, you go to ci.bucket.org. And here's where you can download uh, Dev Craft Bucket, and here's the latest development build of uh, Bucket. So you would do copy link location. I'm going to do the standard Bucket build, so I'm going to copy that. Uh, you have to agree to the Java license because it's not open source. Alright, oh no, it broke. Okay, I guess I broke it, but I'll come back when this is uh, fixed. Okay, so I fixed that problem, and Java is installed. That was a, just a change that I had made after I installed it, so on a default installation, you shouldn't run into that problem. It should just install fine. So the next step is to grab your preferred version of Minecraft server. So I'm going to copy the link to the regular bucket build, the recommended bucket build, and I'm going to uh, log into my regular user. You may want to create a user account specifically for Minecraft if you are uh, doing this in a real situation, but I'm just going to run it under Sean because uh, it's easy. I'm going to create a folder MC and then go into that folder and then uh, run wget space and then 
the URL to the bucket jar that you want, or the regular Minecraft jar. And if you're in PuTTY, just a side note, uh, right click is paste if you didn't know that already. Cool, so we have uh, craftbucket.jar. Next thing you're going to do is create a start script just for convenience. Uh, so we don't have to type a long command, we just type start. So I'm going to create start.sh. And you can use a vi or nano again, whichever text editor you prefer. And then we'll do a standard shebang. So this uh, is pound sign, exclamation point, slash bin, slash sh. And uh, on the next line, you're going to type uh, e, x, e, c, and then this. I will actually uh, put this in the description. So up here near the front, uh, tech xmx, it says 1g. You can also do 1024 capital M. Uh, so Let's say if it's a small server, you want half a gigabyte, it's dash capital X MX 512 capital M. But uh, if you're doing a large server and you want to specify in gigabytes, you can do like 2 and then capital G instead. Since this is a demo, I'm going to use 512M. And then obviously at the end here, uh, you would change this to the jar file that you downloaded. Save that and then do chmod space plus x space start.sh so it should look like this and by the way the uh, all this in the middle uh, this is just a little something to boost performance the only thing you really need is java tac xmx and then the memory and then specify the jar uh, this just makes it run a little bit faster so it's a good idea to add that. And also, if you are not using Bucket, if you're using the regular Minecraft jar, add uh, no GUI at the end. And the next thing we do, I guess, is just start the server. So uh, the way to do that, actually, there's something else I should get into. Uh, log into root again, and then do apt get install, and then tmux. I actually already have it installed. Uh, there's TMUX and screen. Um, you can do some googling. TMUX versus screen really deserves its own video if I were to do anything on that, but I prefer TMUX. So once you have that installed, run TMUX. And then uh, run the shell script for Java. Oh, it'd help if I uh, spelled it right. And there we go, bucket's running. Once it makes its way all the way through this world generation where it generates the uh, the regular world and then another world and then the end world, um, you can type stop. Actually, uh, the reason I had tmux on here, or screen, uh, is you can do control B and then hit the D key and that will actually detach you from it so you can close this window and it will keep running on the server uh, as opposed to normally if you just run something and you close out of the window or disconnect it will kill whatever you're doing so how you reconnect to it is tmux space attach or just tmux space A is a shortcut for it uh, and then it reattaches you so what we can do is just uh, close this window, actually I'm not going to do it, but if you close the window this would keep running and you could shut down your computer as long as the server is running and it would uh, keep running so tmux and screen do essentially the same function uh, screen is a little bit older and there's a lot more scripts and stuff already developed for it but tmux I think is a little bit more uh, better designed but you should try both and uh, pick which one you like Alright, uh, after you've stopped the Minecraft server, just run it once and then stop it. Um, you now have a bunch of files that has created. 
So first you want to edit server.properties. Um, this is where you set a whole bunch of uh, options. Server port, you know, if you want it to, the difficulty, if you want PvP on or not, the message of the day, max people, etc. That, um, I think, is all there is to it, really. Uh, you should edit. Actually, you can just do that. Uh, I'm not going to use TMX right now, but start it, and then you can do op space your name. You probably already knew some of this anyway. But that's basically it. So, uh, see you.